Next thing I want to show you how to install into your Victron system is the Orion TR Smart. I have the 12-12-30. It is the non-isolated DC to DC charger. Uh, I picked up two of these. Um, the Ford Transit that I have is the dual battery, dual alternator, so it has two customer connection points, a 60 amp that is always on and a 175 amp that is on when the ignition is on. Uh, so I'm gonna connect to that stud under the driver's seat. And um, I'll have an 80 amp breaker. I should have a diagram here or here. Uh, I have an 80 amp breaker there. Uh, even though these are a 30 amp delivery each into the system, uh, they could peak at 40. So I'm gonna combine the two into a single 80 amp breaker. Uh, I'll have two watt wire from uh, or two gauge, excuse me, two gauge wire from the customer connection point into one end of that breaker, and then um, six gauge uh, uh, all the way from the run at that breaker to these Orion. So I can't show you that uh, connection, I can just show you the diagram. Uh, I have my pre made cables here. Again, the 5 uh, six gauge 5 sixteenths on one end, and the ferrule on the other. Now, you may be wondering through this series here, do I know if these wire lengths are right? No, um, I hope I'm not wasting copper and I can use these when I actually put this in the van. Um, but we're gonna find out. I wanted to learn all this stuff on the tabletop so that you could see, just like me, what it looks like before it's in the van. So first thing, we'll get these negatives connected here. Make sure that your system is off. Hopefully I'll remember to put those on this time. I forgot to put them on last time. Uh, these don't have a ground per se, um, but they are not isolated. The, the ground, well, they do have a ground. Um, the ground negative is shared because of the non-isolated part. So again, uh, here we go with the uh, round of taking bolts off. There we go. We can put this negative here, ground negative. Washer, lock washer, nut. And again for the longer cable here. Now I did try to do space planning on this tabletop where I think that these things will be relatively located in the van on what will be my power wall built out of some probably 10 series 8020. Um, most likely along the left side of the garage in the van if you're looking in from the rear. It's gonna be a quite a few videos perhaps by the time I get to that point, but the idea is there. Get these in. Again, use the manufacturer's torque spec. Unfortunately, I do not have a torque wrench, so I'm taking a guess and being somewhat gentle but firm. Again, screw terminals here. Get it in there. Screw it down. Now you may be able to see it has an input positive and an out positive. The out positive is the one that we actually send here to our link distributor. The in will be the incoming from what I described from the 80 amp breaker splitting into two six gauge cables. 
coming down to these, but this is what it'll look like on this end of the wiring. Lug, washer, lock washer, nut. And again, the other end being with the ferrule and the screw terminal. And you can see with the heat shrink, these are all nice and, and pretty. Pretty counts, right? And I can close this up. Get that in the little container there, a the little slot. Um, so these also have this little green guy here. Uh, when everything is set up and your system is on, you can turn these, uh, plug these in and it gives you the ability, uh, I believe, to do a remote on off on these devices. So those go in after you're all set up. Uh, I'm not gonna power the system on and show you these in the Victron Connect app because they won't come on. Uh, this positive is the out of the Orion. So um, if I had a spare battery somewhere, I could set up a spare battery and send its positive to one of these inputs. However, um, part of the idea is that this bus is also going to have a chassis ground here. We haven't really talked about that yet, but in the van will be uh, a four aught chassis ground. Um, that chassis ground, I believe, is what connects back over to uh, where the negative is on the batteries under the seat, the CCP post, et cetera, et cetera. So that completes that circuit in that way. Uh, but since we don't have that in a tabletop demo, I can't really fire these up and show you any more about them. Uh, but hopefully my diagram and this quick little uh, video on how to get those connected, at least to your Lynx distributor, is what you needed for today. Uh, so we'll see you on the next one.